So I'm not much of a Redditor myself, but I still do tend to use the service mainly just for farming video ideas. And what I've noticed is that when I go to the Reddit website, I will click on some random post and then another post and then another post and before I know it, it's been 20 posts later and it's been an hour and I found literally nothing of value. So what if there's a way to use Reddit without using the Reddit website? And it turns out there's actually a couple of different ways we can go about doing this. So what we're going to be looking at today is a terminal Reddit client by the name of Tuia. Tua? I'm not sure how to actually say the name. I'm going to assume that it's Tuiar though. And then towards the end of the video, I'm going to show you my current preferred method of actually using Reddit. So if you've been around for a while, you might recognize what Tuiar is because it's actually a fork of an older program. So they didn't actually bother to even update the screenshots. This is a fork of a project by the name of RTV. So this is the GitHub page for RTV. Basically the reason why Tuiar exists is because nobody is maintaining RTV anymore. So if you were previously using RTV, then you'll be perfectly fine moving over to Tuiar. However, if you were like me and you had never used RTV before, you don't actually need to know anything about that project to actually use this. So if we keep going down a bit further, we'll get to the installation instructions. So this project is written basically entirely in Python. So you can install pip if you want to. And if you were previously on RTV, it'll show you how to migrate your configs over right here. Now your other method to install it is you can check through this list right here, which will show you all the different distro packages. If you're on Arch, it is available in the AUR, or you can also download it from source by following these simple instructions right here. And also at this point, it doesn't look like it'll ever be available on Windows. So because I'm on Arch, I will install it from the AUR. So if we go yay dash S to ER, and I've already got it installed. So once this comes up, I will break out of this process. Cool. So let's go and actually have a look at what the program actually does. So this right here is Tuia. Now obviously when you first open up the application, you won't be logged in. So the first thing you're going to want to do is press U. Now I'm already logged in, so I'm not going to do that. But basically what will happen is it'll open up your web browser and basically it'll say, do you want to authenticate this application to access your Reddit account? And just go ahead and say yes. And then you'll be logged in over in this application here. So as you can see, it's pretty straightforward how it works actually. We can move up and down with the Vim keys or with the arrow keys, which is always nice to see. It's always nice to see applications that actually include the Vim keys. We can go into a post by pressing L or by pressing right, and then we can go out of the post by pressing left or by pressing H. Now for these things that actually have attachments on them, we can press O and that'll actually bring up the attachment within our web browser. Now, of course, it's a desktop screenshot. Why wouldn't it be a desktop screenshot? So you can also press O on any of the posts that don't have attachments as well. And all that'll do is just open up the actual post. Now that we're in one of the posts, let's see what we can actually do in here. So if I start scrolling down, as you will see, the comment that I'm currently selected basically has its bar to the left made a little bit wider. I don't know how well you can read that. It should be clear enough though. So as you can see, as I scroll up and down, basically it changes which one I'm currently selected. And if we just find a comment tree, so this one right here, Let's say we don't care about any of the comments past this point right here. So if I just press space on this, that will then go and hide those comments. We can then unhide them again by pressing space. So let's say we think that this post right here is absolutely amazing and we want to upvote it. All we have to do to upvote is press A. And as you can see, that changes the little dot here to an up arrow. If I press Z, that will change it to a down arrow. If I press Z again, that'll change it back to dot. Obviously, if I'm upvoted and I upvote again, that'll also change it back to a dot. And one other thing you might really want to do on Reddit is compose a new comment. So let's say we want to reply to this one right here by Went Circa. All we have to do now is press C. All that'll do is open up a buffer in whatever your standard editor is. So you might be using something like Nano or Emacs. But for me, I use Vim. And as you can see, it's saying we're replying to this comment right here. And it basically, it's going to show you how to actually fill out this block. So there's nothing different from the way you would normally write a Reddit post here. The only difference is that you're now writing it within a terminal application rather than doing it in your web browser. So I'm not going to go into the process of how this works because if you're watching a video on a Reddit client, I'm going to assume that you understand how to write a post on Reddit. So if we go out of this, as you saw, because I didn't save it, it's going to cancel making that post. Let's go back to the front page. And what we can do here is we can go and upvote post the exact same way we saw before. So if I press A, that will upvote it. Z, that will downvote it. And then also Z again, that'll change it back to a dot. Now, 
Here is one problem with the application. If you do things like upvoting and downvoting a little bit too quickly, you will get an HTTP exception. I don't know why this happens, but if I press Z again, as you see, it'll actually work just fine now. I don't know why it does that exactly. I'm not sure. All I know is that if I do stuff too quickly, because I press... Yeah, there we go. It doesn't happen every time, but it will happen from time to time. Seeing as though that we're on the front page, we can't actually compose a new post here because you can't post a front. So if we want to make a new post, we actually have to go to a subreddit. Now, there's a couple of different ways we can do this. If we want to go to a subreddit that we're already subscribed to, if I just press S, this will bring up a list of all of the subreddits that I'm currently following. So let's go to something like, I don't know, uh, command line. And I just press enter on this and that'll jump us into this subreddit. Now, this works the exact same way the front page did. So we can upvote stuff, we can downvote stuff, or unlike the front page, we can also create a new post. So if I just press C, this will basically take you into a similar looking buffer to what you did before with the comments. So once again, I'm not going to go into how to actually make a post on Reddit. The instructions here are pretty dead simple. And if you've never used Reddit before, I'm still not sure why you're watching a Reddit video. Thank you for watching this though. I, I don't know why you're watching it though. Anyway, we can quit out of this and that will basically say that we cancelled the post. Now, if we want to go back to front, what we can do is we can actually press P and what this will do is jump us to the front page and then if we're on the front page and we press P again, that'll jump us back to the subreddit we were just in. So if I press P, as you'll see, it's going to try to refresh the front page. As you can see, it loaded that up just fine. I press P again and then it'll take us back to command line. So this is a quick way to jump between the front page and the last subreddit you were just in. But there are other ways to move around as well. So let's say we wanted to jump to a subreddit that we're not currently in. What we can do is press slash, and this will bring up a little prompt down the bottom here. Now this will work the exact same way that typing in something after the Reddit URL will work. So you can do things like jump to a user, create a meta feed, uh, jump to a subreddit, things like that. So let's say we wanted to jump to r slash Linux or something like that. And as you can see, that'll jump us to Linux. And we can also jump to a subreddit that we're not in. So let's say we want to go to Python. Now, as you'll notice, I'm not including the slash r slash because you don't actually have to. This is actually shorthand for jumping directly to a subreddit. So let's say we want to jump to this one. As you can see, this will jump just fine to the Python subreddit. And let's say we want to go back to front. So if we type in front here, that'll take us to front now. Or we could also create a meta feed. So let's say we wanted to go to something like Linux plus... I don't know, Python plus Java, sure, we'll do that. Now what this is going to do is create a meta feed that has all of the Linux posts, all of the Python posts, and all of the Java posts. So you can have as many of these as you want. Once again, this isn't something exclusive to this terminal client. You can actually do this with the regular Reddit website as well. And we can also jump directly to a user as well. So let's just jump to my account. So if we do slash u slash, and then type in my name, Give it a second to load up. As you will see, you can now see all of the posts that I've done. I still use Reddit far more often than I would like to see I use it, but I guess it's not that frequently. Now, this entire time, you might have noticed this bar up here. So you can actually jump between like hot, top, rising, all of that stuff. And it's actually really simple how you do it. All you have to do is press the numbers that are listed up here. So if we want to jump to top, we press two. And then we can say, let's say we want to jump to the top of the past week. And as you'll see, this will be the top of the past week. Obviously, it's all posts on a really popular subreddit. And we can jump to like rising or we can jump to new. And yeah, that's working exactly the way that you'd expect it to. And one other thing I did want to mention is the help page down here. So basically, this will just open up a buffer in less or it might just use whatever your default pager is. I'm going to assume it probably just uses your default pager, which in my case obviously is less. And this will basically show you all the different key bindings available for this application. So there's stuff I didn't mention, like you can jump to the top of a page with GG or jump to the bottom of a page with capital G. You can change the color schemes. You can get a direct link to any of the posts you see and a bunch of other stuff in here as well. So if you're ever unsure about how to jump between different subreddits, this bit down the bottom here will basically show you how that works. So you can also jump directly to a comment as well the exact same way that it would work if you were jumping to a comment with the Reddit website. There's nothing special about the prompt here. It's basically just take the extension to a Reddit link and just 
put it into a command. You can also send private messages as well, but there is one thing that is missing from this client, and that is that you can't actually subscribe to a subreddit. At least I haven't found a way to do it. If there is a way and I haven't spotted it, feel free to let me know in the comment section down below, but I'm pretty sure that there's no way to actually subscribe to a new subreddit, which is a little bit annoying. It's not really a big deal. If you ever need to subscribe to a new subreddit, just do it through the Reddit website. But it would be nice if you could use this to just completely replace Reddit, but sadly, you can't actually do that. But if you just have all of the subreddits you already want to see, I would say that this is a pretty solid replacement for it. However, there is one problem with it, and that is that I don't really care about most of Reddit. I don't care about seeing what's in top or in rising or in controversial. I don't care about the comments. I don't really care about your images for the most part. So what if there was a even more simple way to use Reddit? And it turns out there actually is. So if we just go over to the Reddit website, now this is r slash Linux. It doesn't actually matter which sub we're using. Literally any Reddit link will actually work for this. So if you take any subreddit or any user or literally anything on the Reddit website and you just stick dot RSS on the end, it will generate an RSS feed for you. So we can do that for top or my general preferred method is to go to new. So if we do slash arch linux slash new dot RSS, this will generate an RSS feed for the new post on Reddit. So all I do is I take this link and I go stick it in my RSS feed. So in my case, that'll be newsboat. And as you can see, I've already got a bunch of links in here. So I've got things like arch linux, linux, bspwm, manjaro, Ubuntu, Command Line, Void, Linux, Gen2, and Unix Porn. So basically all I do is I view Reddit through an RSS client. And the reason why I do that is, as I said before, I don't really want to get distracted. And I also don't really care about a lot of the Reddit experience. I kind of just want to see the post because generally the posts are the only thing that I actually see of value there. I don't really care for the most part about the comments, but if I do want to see the comments, let's say I wanted to see the comments for which keyboard layout do you use? All I have to do is just open this up in my web browser and then I can actually see the comments. But most posts I don't care about the comments for, so I can just say, oh, this is junk. Well, I can go to the next one. I can go to the next one. Next, 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 next. And it's a pretty distraction-free way to read Reddit and I can easily add new subreddits in. All I have to do is just find another subreddit I want to see and then add in the RSS feed. And there we go. I've basically subscribed to a new subreddit. And some of the other nice things about using this is I don't have to have a different tool for Reddit and a different tool for Linux news and a different tool for this other thing. All of it is just within my RSS feed reader. This can be Newsboat or it could be any other tool. Personally, I'm a big fan of Newsboat, but you could be using literally anything else out there. The concept still holds. And the other thing is because I'm actually comfortable using Newsboat, I don't have to relearn a different set of key bindings to easily go through the news. I don't really see the value in doing that. I might as well just keep using the one that I'm really comfortable with because I'm fast at using it and I'm used to the configuration file and all of this other stuff that's nice about Newsboat. And I don't have to then go and learn some other thing because I want to do some other sort of news. It's just all in one place and it's one place that I'm really comfortable working with. Now, none of this is to say that 2ER is bad. I think that this is a really good tool and if you like the Reddit experience, You'll probably like 2ER if you like doing a lot of stuff in terminal applications. But as I've said, I don't really care for the Reddit experience. I kind of just want the posts and that's pretty much it. So for me, I'm going to stick with my RSS method. But if you want to come try out 2ER, I would highly recommend it. So I think that's pretty much everything for this video. But before I go, I want to thank my patrons. So a special thank you, Joachim, Nathan, Andrew, Montazar, Peter, the Rode, Tony Donald, Oki, Larry, and Zilver. If you want to join the Patreon, there'll be a link to that down below, as well as my Amazon affiliate links where you can buy the gear I use in this channel, or anything else you want, and I'll have a small kickback for it. Also remember to go check out my podcast, that is Tech Over Tea, available on Library and YouTube, and also anywhere you listen to audio podcasts for the audio version. Also, this channel is available on Library, BitTube, and also BitChute, so be sure to check that out over there as well. Also remember to go smash the like button and leave me a comment down below, and remember to subscribe and ding the little bell icon down below as well. So I think that's pretty much everything for me, and I'm out.